Hey Lightweights, welcome to today's video where we are going to be playing something a little bit different. Uh, we're going to be trying out a new game, Eternal Threads. Before we get into it, I would like to thank Secret Mode UK for sponsoring today's video and for giving me the opportunity to try this out and show it all to you. Um, so I'm really excited to dive into it, really excited to see what this puzzle adventure game has to offer. Um, it looks gorgeous and it seems like it's going to be a lot of fun so I'm excited to see if it lives up to the hype that I've been building up to it in my head. I'm excited to see your thoughts on it as well. So if you are new here please make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit that bell button when you do so that you know when I post my next video. And without further ado, here we go. We broke the world. Our early experiments in time travel released massive amounts of chronal radiation into the time stream with devastating results. As the particles traveled back through time, they altered countless seemingly insignificant decisions throughout history. But where causality is concerned, nothing is insignificant. The result is the radioactive nightmare of a world that lies beyond the protective screens of this facility. If we are to have any hope of restoring the time stream, then we must employ the very cause of the problem itself, time travel. But we must be very cautious for the risks of direct interference are potentially greater than what we have already faced. We must surgically alter the past, correcting the decisions that were corrupted and leave it to the butterfly effect to restore the future. This is not an easy task, as many, many events were changed. And if we succeed completely, then we may wipe ourselves out of existence. But if humanity is saved, then that is a price worth paying. All right. Um, so I had gone in here quickly just to get a feel for the controls because I haven't played a PC game since I was like, besides WoW, I haven't played a PC game since, uh, I don't even know. Um, probably Unreal Tournament. <laughs> If I'm being honest. Okay, so we've got two game modes, the abridged version or the normal version. Um, I'm going to jump into the normal version, which has 197 events and 54 decisions. So quite a lengthy game. I see you are fully qualified now, huh? Hey, that's very good. Good. Well, okay, let's, uh, let's find you a real mission then. Hey, uh, ah, tier three. That's not too difficult. It's one location. It's good, good. Um, six erroneous fatalities. Could be worse, 43. That's a lot of fatalities. Could be worse. In this timeline, all six subjects must be saved, and you are only authorized to alter the decisions they made in the week before they died. Change the right set of decisions, and you save them all. So, let's find somewhere to drop you with no witnesses. Busy. God, busy always happens to me. Wait, ah, oh, wait. Okay, we got something, 43. It's a few hours afterwards. It looks clean. It's dark, though. Don't worry, I'll send some lights. <laughs> Let's get you when and where you need to be. Initiating crossover sequence. Temporal crossover in five seconds. I'll see you on the other side, 43. Three, two, one. Don't kill me, Gladys. Temporal crossover initiated. Temporal crossover complete. Doesn't seem like an easy Light process. Inbound. That's cool. Light drones crossover complete. Ah, 
Ah, still in one piece, 43. <laughs> good. Good, right. Okay, let's get you set up. Activate your visualizer. Location, Alderbeck, UK. Temporal reference, 4.03 a.m. 20th of May, 2015. Perfect. Now you'll probably need some boosters, okay? Your system will be checking now. Please place first signal booster at location indicated on visualizer. Uh, what did I say, huh? Okay, 43. You just need to head towards that little white dot on your visualizer. You understand? Kind of reminds me of Loki. Please place second signal booster. All right. What a beautiful day outside. The rain on the windows looks good, though. Okay. If the target of the visualizer is located on a different floor, the white dot will be replaced with an arrow. An up arrow means the target is above you, while a down arrow means the target is below you. That clock sounds very ominous. I know this isn't a scary game, but it's very like signal boosters. Initiated. It's very eerie. Scan complete. Corruption detected. Six erroneous fatalities confirmed. Conclusion event determined. Location transfer to visualizer. Okay, so this is where I stopped, just so I can get a feel of... Good, good, good. Okay, go follow the target on your visualizer, and we can see how the story currently ends. Okay. Um, so I can get a feel of walking around and stuff. So this is all new to me now. Conclusion event. That's cool. How far in here can we go without messing it up? Ooh. Where are you going? Oh. Lost him. I fell this guy. This is not a job I'd want. So thankful that there are people out there who want to do this. <laughs> All six should have survived, but time is being corrupted and now they are very, very dead. Stopping the fire would fix all of this, of course, 43, but forecasting is saying this has major repercussions further down the timeline. Which is why you are using a scalpel instead of swinging a axe. Analyzing timeline. Evaluating events. Time map available. Ah, good, okay. Open up your time map and I will talk you through it. 
Here's the end of the time map, 43. Dead. The large hexagon is a conclusion event, and you can return here and rewatch it at any time. Small hexagons are the final events for each of the subjects. It's your stomach. If you change someone's fate, then both of their final event and the conclusion event will change. The white events are all part of the current timeline and can be watched at any time and in any order. Okay. The grayed out events are potential events from alternative timelines and cannot currently be watched. If you change a decision which alters the timeline, some events will change state from one to the other. Once you have watched a decision, 43, it will appear on the map as a diamond, so it is easier to find it again later. The portraits at the top will show you who is in each event as well as whether they are alive Holy or timeline, dead Batman. on the current timeline, 43. And this is the earliest event on the timeline. Like the rest, it currently has a question mark because it has not yet been watched. While only you can choose any event in any order, 43, let's just start here for now. Select this event, and I'll check everything is working as it should. Do you understand? Okay, so we can do all of these in any order we want, obviously, once we get going. Because they're all white. Good, we're ready. Let's go. Tom Day Jim. one, Wednesday, 0800. Location, Tom's room. Which I'm going to assume is this. Oh, hello, Tom. Event one, F. I mean, yeah, he's, he's looking better. Oh, hi, baby. I'm your friend. Oh, you look Frank. Friend. No. It's not as often. Oh, Frank died he's, in the fire, too. He's still pulling out his feathers every now and then. Why would they just leave his carcass here? Sweet peanut. Yeah. I talked to the vets. They want to keep him overnight. I just... I just don't know if that will... cause him more stress, you know? Why wouldn't you want to let the vet take care of him? <sighs> the decision 43, this is fortunate. You should try and change it, okay? So we can make sure everything is working properly. Yes? Alright, so the current decision was wait and see if Frank gets better on his own. Clearly that's not the case because he's dead. Or book a vet appointment for Frank. Let's do that. Yeah, you're right. They had an appointment for next Tuesday, so I'll book him in for them. So, sorry, that's that's the door. I've got to go. I'll speak to you later. Bye. Goodbye. This means your visualizer is working properly no, but... and you're fully able to change the timeline. And as a bonus, the little birdie also gets to live too. <laughs> Everyone's a winner, eh? Yay. Anyway, probably best to head back to the time map and select another event. Yes? Okay. Can I look around here first? Oh, I can open things. What's this? Friars Legal. This is the last will and testament of Barbara Monroe, also known as Barbara Wilson. I revoke my earlier wills. I appoint Tom Monroe to be executor and trustee of my will. I give the remainder of my estate to my trustee. My trustee shall hold residuary trust fund upon trust to distribute as follows for my son Tom Monroe. 2011. So that was a couple years before this, so that probably had nothing to do with the fire. I 
thought that maybe... Oh good, his underwear. We don't need to go rifling through that. I thought maybe someone killed him for his money. Building fun. Bottomley's botanics. Feed, potting, compost, and bulbs. So he seems like a do-it-yourselfer kind of guy. Rent book. Paid, 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 late, late. Where is he? Put his things in a safe. So is he like a, a landlord? Worldwide connections. Dutch bank credit card. You owe 3600 from 2015. So did he... Did he... Not get the payout from that will? Why is he in so much debt? Trying to run this place? Okay, I guess I should, uh, do the next thing. To move quickly around the time map, press and hold the left mouse button while on an empty area of the map and then drag left or right with the mouse. Alternatively, you can change the viewpoint to a different day by selecting from the day indicator at the bottom of the map. All right, which we can't do right now because we are still learning. Day one, Wednesday. Oh, so we're picking up with the doorbell. Location, hall. You can raise or lower your device by pressing the right mouse button. The device must be raised in order to watch the currently selected event. So this is still technically Tom's event. Oh, there he is. Hiya, you must be Linda. Come in. Oh, thanks. Hi, Linda. Hi. 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 Well, it's good oh, to see you. Are you. Oh, I'm Jean. Neil. It's good to be here. Oh, uh, this is Tom. He's the landlord. Uh, I don't know what I would have done without you. Uh, look, I've just got a spare room. That's not all your stuff, is it? Oh, no. There's more in the car. Keys? Right. Back in a minute. That's very okay. nice of you, Neil. So, uh, how about a quick tour? Lead on. Crossing the threshold. Oh, okay, so we're just labeling the events. Okay. Let's go to event three. Day one, Wednesday, 804. Kitchen. Location, kitchen. This is a Linda event. And here's the kitchen. Cornflakes. Guys, this is Linda. Hi. Linda, Hi. this is Ben and Jenny. Like the ice cream? <laughs> That's us. We're just so sweet, aren't we, honey? Oh, we certainly are. Though, I'm also a bit late for work. Dr. Ben, I presume? Very cute oh, couple. The uniform. Well, that, along with your excellent bedside manner with the young lady in pyjamas. Oh, she called me young. She can stay. <laughs> Unfortunately, I can't. See you tonight. See and I guess I'll see the two of you later as well. Yeah, take it easy, mate. See ya. Right, time to see your room. All right. <laughs> like the ice cream. Ben and Janny. Okay, let's snoop around here now. Buy more milk. Yeah, especially now it's probably a little curdled. They don't have a ton of food in the house. What else can I open? Dirty dish in the microwave. No tin foil though, so it probably didn't cause the fire. What? Can someone tell me why this creepy ass doll is sitting in the kitchen? 
And why does it have like real teeth? Oh, I don't like it. I don't like it. Our Tom starting his new school. You could pinch those cheeks. So cute, Tom. Okay, I feel like the doll's watching me. Let's get out of here. I don't like that thing. That thing's probably demonic and caused the fire. <laughs> it's not that kind of game, but it could. Linda's room. Day one, Wednesday, 8.09. Location, Linda's room. Oh, I missed that. Okay, we got a can opener that kind of looks like a weapon. Let's use it to kill that curvy doll. Okay, where are we going? <laughs> Locked. That is unfortunate, 43. You will need to get this door open to access all the events that took place outside. Okay. Maybe you can find out where the key is from one of the events inside the house. Huh? Sure. Mm. <sighs> this is how bad things happen in scary movies. Why is there blood down here? What the hell? Look, Miranda, we need to talk about last night. Don't worry about the marks, they'll heal up in a few days. I'm not talking about the marks, I mean the whole thing. Oh, sorry. I couldn't hang out around the... I, uh, uh, bleh, bleh, bleh. Ah -ha! That's better. Oh, sorry, I couldn't hang around this morning for round two, but work had a crisis and they can't seem... Nothing happened. Nothing happened. But work had a crisis and they can't seem to get anything done without me. You're not listening. We need to talk. Oh, someone's about to get dumped. That reminds me. I'm going to be busy for a bit, so my naughty little puppy better behave himself. Then, when I'm back, we'll see what else we can do. Doodles. Okay, we'll talk then. So is this, like, an abusive relationship, or is this some, like, you know... Kinky hanky panky. All right. Well, based off of what I saw in the kitchen, they probably ordered from here a lot. Crystal Lake, a true story. Nasty ass apple. Ooh, can I throw a dart? Nope. Nope. Alright, besides the blood, this basement is not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. 43, um, I'm detecting some form of temporal abnormality. It does not appear to be in this room, but it is very close, so uh, please watch out. What's that mean? Still in the box. <sighs> I believe, 43, that this is what they call irony. Someone call on us more set. Also, I wonder if we can get time to hang those up. Certificate of Excellence for Barbara Monroe, Photographer of the Year Award. So Barbara was Tom's mom. Right? Why lock an old wardrobe in the basement? Uh, how curious. Maybe it leads to Narnia. It's up against a wall. Okay, what else we got? Nothing there. I. Mm, What the? Ah, 
question mark. <laughs> well, at least you're not searching for a key, 43. This is... There's some sketchy shit down here. I don't know what's happening. Although that's probably just where Tom keeps his private stuff, so tenants don't go through it, if I had to guess. But still, it's creepy. Okay, let us And this is you. So, was it? Hmm? The previous tenant, born to rock? Well, he certainly wasn't born to stick around and pay the rent, <laughs> but I doubt it. Why? He's left his guitar. I'll get rid of it all for you. Corruption point. If you if you rewatch a decision, a button will appear next to your device. Pressing this button will pause the event and allow you to select the outcome without having to wait until the decision point. If you change the decision, the event will jump forward to the decision point and then continue onwards, showing you the new result and ending. So that makes it a little bit easier to see. So Linda chose to leave the guitar posters. Take guitar and posters away. Um, I feel like Linda wants to put up her own stuff, so let's let's put everything away. Yeah. I know I'm not in Kansas anymore, but my days as a rock chick are way over. <laughs> sure thing, Dorothy. <laughs> uh, where'd you want these? Oh, just put them anywhere, Toto. What? Huh? <laughs> He's like, um, I missed something. Okay, so... Posters are down. Linda must have died up here. Which, I wonder who died in the basement with the blood. She hadn't unpacked yet. Interesting. I don't like that. <laughs> We've got a demonic candle hand and a demonic doll downstairs, a creepy ass locked door. All right, Kieran. Look, it's not forever. Like I have explained, I'll see you Saturday. How was school today? Okay, I guess. When are you coming home, Mom? Okay, so Kieran is his, her son? Kieran is a boy's name? What have you had for tea? Pizza again. Mom, you promised it would be soon. I'll pick you up from school tomorrow and we'll go home. You're coming home? For real? For good? Yes, brush your teeth and go to bed. I'll see you tomorrow. I love you. Love you too, Mom. Interesting. Why leave your child? There's clearly shit going on. Day 1, Wednesday, 8-10, location, hall. Oh, so you can, it doesn't matter who you're on. I wonder if it changes if I chose somebody else. Let's back up so we can see this whole thing. Hi, Neil. Anything for me in there? I don't think so. I'll double check. Might as well double check. It'll take two seconds. Uh, hold on, I'll, um, I'll double check. Oh, wait, yeah. Uh, here you go. Cheers. Uh, can I squeeze past? Work. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, sure. See you, Doc. See you, Neil. Alright. Can I see what that post was? Interesting. Curiouser and curiouser. The landing. Day one, Wednesday, 
Location, landing. Okay, we gotta go there. If you need to move more quickly around the house, hold shift while moving. Nice. Gives us a little pep to our step. Raquel. That's the bathroom, and this is my bedroom. Oh, what a nice view. Who's in the bathroom? Why are we all staring at them? Morning. 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 Hi, Zach. Hi. Who was that? I have no idea. <laughs> oh, hi. I'm Raquel. You must be... Jealous. Uh, this oh. is um, Linda. My all sister. right, Linda. So I guess she knows all your childhood secrets then. Oh, I could tell a tale or two. Leave them alone, you two. Spoil sport. We can talk later. But now, I suppose I'd better go throw some clothes on. Okay. <laughs> Raquel had a guest last night. All right, let's go check out this bathroom. So they all share... That's a lot of adults sharing a bathroom. I hope they have some sort of schedule or that could be a cluster. Ooh. Unused dirty soap. A ran pan. Take one or two at night. Who is it for? Dr. Ben Riley. That makes me think Pam 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 Pam. All right, let's go to Raquel's room. Check that out. Cut. Maybe there's a spare key lying around somewhere. Summer ball. Music, comedy, food and drink attractions. That would be fun. Alright, so Raquel's room is locked, but can we go into... Emily. Glad you're coming to the party tonight. Maybe I can show you my room. Okay, Neil. I'm really sorry about last night, Em. I don't know what happened. Look, Neil, I like you and we had some fun, but I don't need the drama. I'm not looking for some guy who thinks he needs to protect me. Let's just leave it and try to be friends, okay? Wait, I'm really sorry. I had a bit too much to drink and I lost it. It won't happen again. Why don't we just meet up for a drink, just me and you? No, Neil, you're not listening. I want you to leave me alone. Okay. Poor Neil. Good for her for putting her foot down, though. Dearest Neil. Hi, love. It's your mom. I've tried ringing a few times, but I guess you've been busy, so I thought I'd be a bit old-fashioned and put pen to paper and write you a letter. Well, I finally managed to shake off the cold that I've had for almost three months. The doctor said it wasn't anything serious, but there was some sort of secondary infection, so he had me on the antibiotics. I also had a few hot toddies before going to bed, and one or the other seems to have worked. Your dad's still pottering off down the allotment, or at least that's what he says. He thinks I can't smell the pints of bitters on his breath when he gets back. Silly man. Still, at least it keeps him quiet and lets me watch my soaps in peace. <laughs> Need your husband to stop talking? Let him get drunk. Oh, and I bumped into your math teacher, your old math teacher, Mrs. Willis, when I was out in town on Tuesday. She's retired now, but she still remembers you, her star pupil. She asked how you were doing and wanted to know, wanted you to know she was proud. Linda's been in touch. She said she wants to talk to you about something, so I've passed on your number. I told her you're really busy, but she said she'll drop you a text. Anyway, I'll sign off now as I don't want to take up too much of your time, and I'm sure you don't need your old, old mom nagging you, but if you find yourself with half an hour spare, I'd love to hear your voice. Y'all, if Baby Light can't even 
talk to me on the phone for 30 minutes. When she's older, I'm gonna cry. Call your mother, damn it. I guess we don't know the story. Maybe she was horrible to him, but it doesn't seem like the case in that letter. Hola and Merry Christmas from, do you say Mallorca? Is that how you pronounce it? Spain, right? Spain, yeah, Mallorca, Spain, okay. Hope you went home, but if not, then maybe this will cheer you up a bit. Gotta get a card at Christmas, even I know that and I'm Hindu. Christmas is weird here in Spain. They got bonfires and practical jokes and no presents till January. Nan's arthritis is much better out here though, so that's good. And the senoritas, wow, man. Anyway, see you soon. Ian, international man of mystery. All right, so Ian's traveling. Neil died in bed. Well, playing video games. Could be worse ways to go, I suppose. Help, Bazine. Take one daily. So this must be the doctor's room. Ben and, ben and Jenny? Doctor surgery appointment reminder. Hmm, who's having surgery? There. <gasps> we got a key. Ah, room key 43. Could be for the young lady's room next door. No. Who's got the key? Ben or Jenny? Hey, watch out. Consultant on Warpath. Think Alan had a bad round of golf this morning. I'll find somewhere to keep my head down, but I'm on shift until 5. Hi, Ben. Sorry to ask, but any chance of you covering my shift next Saturday? Got a hot date. Yeah, okay. Remember, you owe me. Anyway, who is the lucky lady? Emma from Radiology. She's way out of your league. I know. All right. Let's go try this key. Do we have an affair going on? Good. We do. Now, 43, okay. now you can watch any events that took place in here. What? What? What if Raquel and Ben were having an affair and then she thought she was pregnant with Ben's baby? Oh, who's that? We hope this helps you remember our beautiful daughter. Love Pamela and James. She like a babysitter? What is this place in Creepy Dolls? Look at the eye. Okay, enough of that, enough of that, enough of that. Professor J. Hey Raquel, I need to know exactly how many pieces you'll be exhibiting Friday. Eight pieces as agreed. You're going to be ready for Thursday? That's final installation day. Just doing some finishing touches. Dear, no time. Just get them to the hall tomorrow, midday, latest. Okay, Professor, will do. Jeff, dear, just call me Jeff. Okay, Jeff. Mmm, Jeff, you're creepy. I don't even know you. You're creepy. Village in shock. Girl seven killed in road accident. A seven-year-old girl died and another was taken to hospital after they were struck by a car in the small village of Bridge... Was that the girl that died? 
A 42-year-old man has been arrested at the scene of the incident close to the junction of Victoria Road and Springfield Lane, police said. Witnesses reported seeing the gray car driving erratically before the incident, and police spokesman confirms that the vehicle was traveling at speed as it headed up the narrow lane that passes by both the girls' houses. The girls were quietly playing in a front garden when they decided to cross the lane in the farmer's field opposite and were struck by the car. After hitting the children, the gray car is understood to have continued along a short distance and then veered back across the road, coming to a halt in the hedgerow a further 100 feet along the lane. One of the girls was confirmed to have died instantly, while the other was taken to Preston General Hospital as a precaution. Part of Springfield Lane and Victoria Road remained sealed off for forensic examination. Speaking at the scene, Chief Inspector John Barrett said, My deepest sympathies are with the friends and family of the two girls involved in this incident. When was this? So was she like a babysitter? Or was she, was that like a long time ago and she was the other girl? So Raquel's clearly an artist. And it seems like she might've been having an affair with Ben. Well, maybe Jenny, but the pregnancy test and Zach make me think maybe she leans more towards boys. So I'm thinking Ben, but who knows? The drama. All right guys, I am going to stop there. This game is already got its hooks at me. I think it's gonna be so much fun. I can't wait to figure out what's going on with the pregnancy test. I can't wait to figure out why that guy who, I don't know if they're married or dating, but that was the Ben and Jerry, Ben and Jenny um, couple. Why does that guy or the girl have a key to Raquel's room? Questions. Why is there a locked cabinet in, well, armoire in the basement? I don't know, I don't know, but I need to know the answer to these things. So I'm really excited to keep playing and really excited to figure them out. Um, I feel like this game could take you forever if you wanted to see all the outcomes and do all of the things, which makes sense as to why they have the abridged version now that I've actually been in it. So whatever you like to do, if you like to have a really long game or a shorter game, I feel like this is the perfect fit for you. I am really, really curious to see where the story for this goes, and I cannot wait to kind of solve those mysteries. Um, I'm less invested in the overall mystery and more invested in the small ones, like the key in the pregnancy test. <laughs> I need to know these answers. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit that bell button when you do, so you know when I post my next video. And again, thank you so much to Secret Mode UK for sponsoring this video and for giving me the opportunity to try out this game. I cannot wait to keep playing. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing day.